Iran's president, foreign minister, seven others died in helicopter crash. Kindly follow us on Casa TV on YouTube and Facebook for more updates and endeavor to share this video. Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, has died in a helicopter crash at the age of 63, as reported by Iranian news outlet. Rescuer on Monday found a helicopter that was carrying the Iranian president, as well as the country's foreign minister, Hossein, and seven other senior officers, after it crashed in the mountain, northwest reach of Iran. The helicopter crashed weeks after Iran launched a drone and missile attack on Israel in response to a deadly strike on its diplomats compound in Damascus. Hadlina Raisi became president in a historically uncompetitive election in 2021. Previously, the chief justice, he oversaw a period of intensified repression of dissent in a nation convulsed by youth led protests against clerical rule. Raisi was the second most powerful person in the Islamic Republic's political structure after Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khomeini. The Iranian constitution mandate that in the case of the president's death, the first vice president assumed office with the approval of the Supreme Leader. Iran was thrown into uncertainty Sunday as search and rescue team scorched a forge surrounded mountain area after President Ibrahim Raisi helicopter went missing in what states media describe as an accident. Fears grew for the 63-year-old ultra-conservatives after contact was lost with the aircraft carrying him as well as Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian and others in East Azerbaijan province, reports said. The Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khomeini urged Iranians to not worry about the leadership of the Islamic Republic, saying there will be no disruption in the country's work. We hope that Almighty God will bring our pre dear president and his companion back in full health into the arms of the nation, he said in a national television address as Muslim faithful prayed for racist safe return. Expressions of concern and offers to help came from abroad, including Iraq, Kuwait, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Russia, and Turkey, as well as the European Union, which activated its rapid response mapping service to aid in the search efforts. Iran's foreign ministry spokesman, Nasir Kanani, expressed gratitude for government and international organizations for their sympathy and offer for help in the search and rescue operations. State television first reported in the afternoon that an accident happened to the helicopter carrying the president in the Jaffa region. The harsh weather condition and heavy fog have made it difficult for the rescue team to reach the accident site, said one broadcaster as the massive search effort later continued into the night. Iran's red Crescent chief Pihosen Kulivan told State TV that the area of the accident has yet to be identified and that the situation remains difficult. Interior Minister Ahmed Vahidi said the helicopter made a hard landing in bad weather and that it was difficult to establish communication with the aircraft. He urged people to get their information only from the state television and not listen to foreign media channels. Iran deems hostile to the Islamic Republic. Iran's cabinet held an emergency meeting led by Vice President Mohammad Kabar after the incident Iran reported. Rice's convoy had included three helicopters and the other two had reached their destination safely, said the Sanim news agency. More than 60 rescue teams using search dogs and drones were sent to the mountainous protected forest area of Dizma near the town of Vazaham, the Iran news agency reported. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Casa TV on YouTube and Facebook for more updates. Endeavor to share this video now and drop a comment. Thank you.